to go even further beyond! Yeah, my name is Akashi, and in this video, I'm bringing you another color oriented team. I'm going to be using green, green, yellow on this Saiyan team. It's absolutely disgusting. Literally, like, it's out of this world. Overall, if you're not using this team, no, not even if you're not using this team, if you face this team, you would just know how dangerous the team is to actually fight against. It's such a problem, they don't lose health. They regen health all the time if they do lose health. So regardless of what you're doing to this team, it doesn't even matter. You just like you have to rush this team and literally hope that it lands. If it don't land, you're gonna be in for a bad time. But um overall, this team here is actually very, very frightening. Uh everybody literally buffs Saiyans here except the Super Saiyan 4 Goku, but he buffs Sun Family, uh, which is actually helping my uh Super Saiyan 3 Goku. But um, overall on this team, bro, um, it's mainly for Super Saiyan 4, Gogeta, uh, because he actually buffed Saiyans at 6 stars. And because of the, the Hoi Poi grind thing, I was actually able to get him to 6 stars on top of the fact I had two 600 Legend of Z powers. So pretty neat. I'm happy that I actually pulled him, uh, got him to 6 stars. But um, hopefully you guys are going to enjoy this video. If you haven't already, make sure to press that subscribe button on this grind to 20,000 subscribers. We're very, very close. So if you're new here, do me that favor and press the subscribe button. Trust me, you won't regret it. All my socials on the left is the YouTube channel, but we got a Twitter, Twitch, Reddit, Instagram, and a Discord link all in the description below. But yeah, let's get into actually discussing what makes this team so dangerous. So I've got the equips here that's been on the screen literally the whole start of the video. So if you want to copy the team in any way, shape or form, uh, here is what I've got. There's some things that I would change. Obviously, I don't have all the best equipment and I'm just a fiend for having Z's. But um, yeah, for the most part, the main three on this team that will always be run is the Super Saiyan 3 Goku, uh, that's at Zenkai 7, the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, and the Angel Vegeta, uh, that's at the bottom, that's yellow. Which is why I don't need a red here. Um, I've only got the purple here uh, to actually, um, what you call it, scare everybody else to make them think that I'm going to bring a different color. And Namek Goku the same way, but on top of that, their Z abilities are pretty neat. So um, if we're going into... The units that i have the main three if we look at the super saiyan 3 goku first his z ability uh 28 to saiyan base strike and blast defense which is very good because he's also going to be zenkai buff in the super saiyan 4 gogeta and he is a defense unit so this just makes his defense even more be better overall and then the zenkai ability you know the zenkai brings amazing stats so green and saiyan strike attack 35 percent blast attack 40 percent 35% to strike defense and 40% to blast defense, which is amazing for for, for him, honestly. Um, next, going into the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, he's actually got a triple Z ability, which is lovely, man. You know LS be coming with that heat. Plus 30% to tag GT, tag Fusion Warrior, or tag Saiyan, base strike and blast defense during battle. That is beautiful. They're going to be helping out, going to be helping out everybody on this team defensively, uh, which is just lovely uh, <laughs> overall. Um, now if we go into the kits like for the main for the main part um those two z abilities because the green green part is the main part but i'm gonna get into the vegeta and why he's mainly useful i didn't want to go into everybody's z abilities because i didn't feel like there would be a point but um going into the kits and what makes them overall so good i'm gonna start with the super saiyan 3 goku so his green card i feel like it's just amazing because it can literally start you off in a combo and it gets the opponent so like jittery and confused as to what they need to do because if they blast attack they're literally going to get hit with this card most likely and they'll never know when it's coming because obviously they can't see your deck but what it does is a counter to blast arts it gives you 50 key it destroys two of the enemy cards and you can combo literally everything into it which just makes it all around great honestly and it only costs 11 which is pretty really really cheap um the main ability he carries everybody knows this team like bro this unit this unit when he gets type neutral that's a problem but he draws his ultimate cards he restores health by 30 he gets key 50 and he neut neutralizes all elemental factors um unfavorable elemental factors which is just great for 10 time accounts he gains the attribute upgrade minus 50 percent sustained damage cut effect so he's going to do more damage overall and then the ultimate arts when he lands that it just hits like a bomb which is crazy um on top of that this unique ability here 
thank you dragon balls receive zero dragon receive zero damage when changing cover so that's the instant transmission and for the first time available during assist but you'd get plus two to your sub count which is the actual like it's like a penalty for it but it's not really a big issue honestly with this team but that would actually save you real time like for, in real situations rise and rushes whatever man it's gonna save you uh while this character is on the battlefield applies the following effects to self when this enemy switches characters uh so he actually gets benefits uh the enemy gets penalized we get benefits if the enemy switches out so he gets plus 20 percent damage inflicted plus 10 percent ultimate damage inflicted which is really good and he gains one draggable which activates only once now let's go into super saiyan 4 gold gr in terms of what makes him really effective overall in my opinion so for me it's what his green card has to be mentioned the bluff kamehameha is that when he does that the kamehameha is confetti applies the following effects itself upon activation so he gets key 50 plus 20 percent to damage inflicted for 15 time accounts he also gains the buff effect nullifies enemy special actions that activate when changing cover so you can't be cover changed by any cover units for the next 10 time accounts because of this green card and it also destroys all of your enemies um I think it's cards but overall it's just really annoying to deal with like <laughs> getting hit with this and then on being unable to, to um to cover change it's just beautiful like it's just beautiful as hell and the fact that it can combo into everything and it has a uh, blast armor it's just lovely you also cancel your enemy attribute upgrades uh, that only activate twice so um yeah going into his main ability now which is another thing that i feel is really really good um he's another unit that nullifies own unfavorable elemental factors you got two right now he gets his ultimate arts restores his own key by uh, health by 30 and key by 50 and he also gets draw speed all of that is just beautiful Un unfavorable elemental factors nullified for 20 time accounts though so that's real real good trust me like it just hits and then this unique ability here unparalleled fusion when this character performs a cover change knocks back enemy to long range on strikes and blast but that only activates twice um that it is quite unfortunate that it only activates twice but for it to work on both strike and blast and honestly because it's both that's enough for a whole game it's actually enough for a whole game unless you're facing like a region team it works perfectly fine it's enough honestly i don't need more than that but in some cases you might but that's why you have super saiyan 3 and who i haven't even got into yet um the vegeta which we're gonna get into now so if we look at the Vegeta, for me, his green card, you are number one, plus 20% to damage inflicted by allies for 20 time accounts. If you look at this team, you know the main two hitters is not, and out of the main, if we're going to pick two main hitters, Vegeta is not going to be one of them. LF Super Saiyan 3 are going to be do, is going to be doing the main damage. If not him, the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. So using Vegeta's green card to actually buff up your allies is beautiful. Destroys all of your own cards and randomly draws four new ones. So you can actually get new cards if you switch into him, use a green card and switch back out. Which is just beautiful. Uh, his main ability, he's also another unit that nullifies unfavorable elemental effects. So you've got three units that can just nullify type. Like, they don't give a damn, which is crazy. But he restores his own health by 25 um, I mean, ally health by 25%. So he's helping the whole team. <laughs> Bro, this, this unit here is crazy. Inflicts all enemies with attribute downgrade minus 50% to health to restoration for 60 time accounts. So if they got healing capabilities, they're not going to get as much as they should. And he also shortens ally sub count by 5. So you can literally just switch out straight away after doing this for your team, which is lovely. The unique ability that I feel that stands out is this one here when he changes cover. It's literally another cover change type thing. So if he cover changes anybody, he's literally shortening the enemy's combo because he takes 50 key from them, which is wild. But on top of this, he also applies the following effects to self when this character enters the battlefield. So to keep him on par and do a little bit of damage, he's not going to be hitting as hard as Super Saiyan 3 and Super Saiyan 4. But it's still going to be a lot of damage. So plus 60% damage inflicted. Uh, it can't be stacked, unfortunately. Reduces damage received by 5%. So he does tank a lot more on top of the fact that he switches in. And he also increases the damage inflicted um, according to the number of time accounts elapsed with current character up to 60%. So, um, yeah, overall, this team is just dangerous, honestly. If you ever come up against this team, then you should know. This green, green, yellow team is honestly one of the most dangerous teams I've actually seen in PvP overall. Like, it's wild. So, um, this is why I actually had to bring it to you. This team, I actually think it's way more dangerous, way more dangerous than the blue, blue, purple team. Um, honestly, 
Uh, obviously, most people won't have Goji at six stars, but at six stars and above, the fact that he's a defensive unit, but he has offensive capabilities, it just makes him overall so dangerous. And Saiyans overall are just disgusting. But let me know what you think about this team. If you're using it, if you're not using it, if you want to use it and can't use it, let me know your situation as well. Anniversary has been good for me, honestly. I've literally pulled everybody, so I'm glad I could bring you content like this. Press that subscribe button if you haven't already. I'm going to leave the gameplay to play out in the background uh, because I know some people be trying to learn how I play and whatnot, how they can improve. Uh, but of course, the capabilities of this team, it just shows in the gameplays overall. So I'm going to leave it like that. All my socials are on the left. This is the YouTube channel, but we've got a Twitter, Twitch, Reddit, Instagram, and a Discord link all in the description below. My name is Akashi, guys, and I will see you guys in the next one.
Please, lend me your energy! You're true!